Because what? I mean, what time is it there then? It's about it's about ten. I think it's ten thirty, eleven now. Oh, in the morning. That's crazy because it's it's about uh what is it? It's eleven. Uh, well, it's about eleven thirty p.m. here. So. Uh, oh. <laughs> so it's completely <laughs> different. Yeah, I show you. Um, yeah. You can see on you can see on my phone there. Uh, yep. PM, you know, yeah. <laughs> so it's night here, and it's so you're like in the future for me. You know, that's that's yep. bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Hi everyone, thank you for watching. And today I'm talking to John Bailey, uh, an adaptive boxer <laughs> from New Zealand, and we're going to be having a chat about his amazing life story and the amazing obstacles that he's overcome to get where he is in life. Uh, so John, thank you for having a chat with me. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Yeah, so I just uh, I just put that in there. Um, yep. So, I mean, let's start at the beginning. Um, I mean, because, you know, um, how did you first get into adaptive boxing? If it, well, actually, I suppose we should start before that. I mean, you should say a little bit about what adaptive boxing actually is, because I know you know, but for people watching who don't know, um, let's let's start there. So, uh, what is adaptive boxing, and what is it that you do with adaptive boxing? Okay, um, in New Zealand, um, we've just started recently launching our adaptive boxing program on the third of June on Wednesday in New Zealand. Um, it's adaptive boxing is for people with intellectual, dif um, physical intellectual disability and spinal cord injuries. We're involving every single disability in New Zealand. We're not discriminating from every single disability, which means anyone can come along, they can do six months training and then go from there. If they want to fight, they can come along and they can train for six months. Or if they want to do exercises, we allow them to come along and exercise just for um, general usage or just to get fit. We don't force anyone to fight. so. As it's up to them and their preference. So, yeah, that's adaptive boxing. Brilliant, brilliant. And uh, obviously, um, you know, you you got into uh, adaptive boxing, at, you know, at a certain point in time. You know, so obviously something. I mean, what actually inspired you to um, take part in the beginning? Um, I mean, what was the inspiration to to like join the, join the gym and and sort of get involved? Um, the reason why I joined the gym because my mom passed away in two thousand and sixteen, and I had a low point in my life that I went through self-harm and <laughs> doing the wrong things and yeah and then I because I I wanted because I have um David Toy as my mentor at the time before I had all my lapses and when and I saw him and I joined his gym and we started going from there and I started doing boxing ever since at that time and yeah that's the story okay and obviously, um, you know, like, again, just for, for people watching this who are not in the know, obviously you box from a wheelchair. I mean, that's, that's, that goes without saying. Um, but, I mean, what is the situation with that? I mean, were, were you injured? or I mean, I, bear in mind, John, I know the answer to this. But for, for the people watching, um, you can tell us a little bit about, um, about what's going on there, um, if that's okay, yeah? Yeah. Um, for everyone watching, I have cerebral palsy. I have Dandy Walker syndrome, so I've got no, I've got no feeling from leg down, and I can feel from trunk up. That's okay. what cerebral palsy is. It's a little, it's a little nerve in your brain that doesn't um, <laughs> send the signals to the right places in your in your brain. John, I mean, obviously, you know, your story is amazing. What you know, what you're doing is is amazing on on so many levels, and it's inspiring. I mean, it, you know what I mean. One of the things I'd like to to touch on with that is obviously your mentality um, to you know to adaptive boxing. Obviously, you love it. I mean, obviously, you love it. That I mean, that 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 shows a mile away. Uh, and when you told me before, you live and breathe uh, your boxing training. But what is your mentality? Um, I mean, obviously, you don't let the cerebral palsy stop you. You know, you don't let it, you don't let anything hold you back. Uh, and you're sort of loving what you do. So what is your actual mentality to um, to the boxing, if that makes sense? What is your mindset like? Um, it, oh, my, mind, my mindset, um, of, oh, I'm thinking about boxing is just to stay, um, um, just to keep um, training consistently. There's no, there's, there's nothing that stops you from training at home. Even though you're not in a gym, you can use a bag or go and go for a walk. If I don't have a bag example, I go for a walk. I have someone with me take me for a walk down the down at a park, at a at a 
or go for a drink at a cafe or something just to get my mind off boxing or and then when I come home I get back into my my game plan so yeah brilliant brilliant and I mean what is your your training regime like like your routine uh, I mean how, you know how often do you train and um, like what's the length of of the training sessions and I mean um how you know how does that work like for me I'm just, um as you know I've joined the um the um, boxing gym in, in Avondale that I'm starting on Wednesday. So I've got three days a week of training and then I've got like six days a week of training at home. And then half of the, half of those days, I do a little bit of, um, um, if no one knows, um, I do laps on my chair. So I go from post to post, which I do like every single day from Monday to Sunday. So yeah, I turn my, I turn my arms off. So yeah. As you can see, Liam, this is my wheelchair. I use for my my weights and whatnot. So yeah, if anyone that's in a wheelchair, and if you don't have weights, use your wheelchair as your weight because it's really handy. You get a lot of um tricep muscles and yeah, get sore at times. But hey, you just gotta live with it. Brilliant. And the other thing, John, that I mean, I want to ask you is obviously you know every time we've spoken, you know, you're such a positive guy. Do you know what I mean? You're such a happy guy, really fun to talk to, and. Uh, do you know what I mean? And and I genuinely say, I mean, how do you always stay so positive? Um, I mean, what's what's the reason behind that? I mean, you're always, do you know what I mean? You're always happy, you're always in such a good place. What what's the reason behind that? Oh, uh, because of all uh, um, the the thing people gotta realize that boxing is not everything. It's about family connection. You go, you come home after training, and you wanna wind down, hang out with your family take them out for dinner. I'm so pop- I'm so popular in New Zealand, Auckland, man. I go everywhere with my family and it's like, when they see the silver friend on my chair, it's like, are oh, you representing New Zealand in the Paralympics, right? Yeah, of course. And then once you do boxing, it's, um, it's a different story, but people are getting used to me now. So yeah, it's all about family connection here. Yeah. It's not, it's it's not all about, oh, you're in a wheelchair, you're useless. It's all about embracing your disability and, yeah, being there for each other. I love it. I absolutely, I absolutely love the message. Uh, that is, that is fantastic, John. Um, brilliant. Now, you you mentioned earlier about you know about actual fights. Uh, you know about uh, you know the people in adaptive boxing obviously have the option to fight, but they don't have to. Um, I mean, what's what's the situation with that? I mean, what what is a fight like in adaptive boxing? Um, you know, like how many rounds? Just just for people who don't know the the situation. Um, let's okay, talk. Okay, for the people in New Zealand, uh, we are looking at three or two rounds. For for in my situation, cerebral palsy, it's three rounds. For a person that has spinal cord injury, it'll be two rounds because they don't have trunk function in um spinal cord injury, so they have to um yeah have have a few breaks and stuff in it. And on my situation, I have to do um three rounds. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. And I mean, again, you know, touch, you know, carrying on with, with that fighting um, subject. Uh, I mean, in your situation, how, how many fights have you had? And, and like, what's the situation? Uh, again, I know, I, I know a little bit about this, but not, you know, actually not a lot. But again, for people watching, um, what's the what's the situation there? Um, guys, I've had so far in New Zealand, I've had four charity fights. Um, I've won most of all my charity fights. But this time I want to go um, wheelchair on wheelchair now. So yeah, I've, I'm sick and tired of um, playing with um, everybody, people sitting down in wheelchairs and beating them up. And yeah, I just had enough of that now. So yeah, if anyone out there on Liam's um, video wants to um, find me, I'm over here in New Zealand. Come and see me. And if you want to chat me, um, talk to my coach AJ um, in my gym in um, Avondale. So yeah, she'll hook you up. So yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. And uh, obviously, John, I mean, one of the other things is that, you know, you mentioned is obviously you're um, proud of, you know, of your country, of your heritage. And that's obviously something that's important to you, uh, which is, you know, I think I think that's fantastic. But does that play a part in, in your boxing? I mean, is that sort of part of your motivation? Um, New Zealand's been a part of my motivation. Yeah, it, it's been a big part of my motivation. So, yeah, like my career's. Starting again, so yeah, I've had, I've been training for the last 14 years. I've been from gym to gym. They always say to me that, oh, they'll help me with my goals, but they don't. So I've moved into this new gym called um, 
the Rise Fitness in Avondale, they are, uh, they are adaptive boxing gym. They do a lot of fitness training. They do a lot of, um, they do a lot of like healthy eating, making sure their fighters are okay for the next day when they fight. And yeah, that's brilliant. So I mean, let's talk a bit, a bit about, um, let's talk a little bit about like your your upbringing and things like that. Because and the reason I want to talk about that, John, is there's a reason. It's obviously something along the line. You you mentioned family connections and things, and obviously you you at a point in time you had this, you developed this mental strength to do what you do. Because obviously it takes discipline, it takes focus. Uh, I mean, what was it like um, growing up, you know, in New Zealand and and, and everything like that for you? Uh, we can we can talk a little bit about that. I don't really have one line to go down with that. Just just broadly, um, what what was your growing up experience like? Oh, my growing up experience was um, I've had I had um, bullying in school. Um, my family members weren't um, as supportive as they were. So yeah, because my my parents. My mum was my mum was pretty good mum, and my dad was um off the rail sometimes, and used to hit used to violently hit me, and yeah. Well, thank thank you for sharing that, John. The only reason I ask that is because obviously it shows people, uh, you know, who might be going through something similar now, uh, to not give up. Do you know what I mean? So that that's the reason for asking about that, because obviously I can tell obviously it's, it's difficult to discuss, but it you know it shows people if if there's people in that situation now. Uh, you know, when they watch this, they, they think, well, you know, if John can do it, you know, maybe I can do it as well. And that, to be honest, that's that's the big vision that I have for doing this video and for doing this whole thing, uh, is, is how inspirational you are. Which does lead me to my next question. It does lead me to the next thing is obviously, um, if you had advice for people who um, want to get into adaptive boxing in any way, so maybe they have, maybe they've just started Maybe they haven't got into it yet, and they could have any anything a spinal cord injury, the CP, any of that stuff, and they may be thinking about doing um, adaptive boxing. What advice would you um, give to them? Um, if if any of your if any if anyone is watching this video, please please contact your adaptive or uh, look online. Don't go to an able-bodied gym. They'll just say, oh, yeah, we'll help you, but they will not help you. So you have to really, really look clearly at what you're getting in yourself into and what you want to achieve out of it because you cannot jump into a, a, a boxing gym and say you want to do it and then you pull out again. I've done that once and it was not a good look. So I've joined the – I found a gym that I'm fully supporting my, me and my career. So I'll be fighting very, very soon in the near future. So. Yeah, I know people. You can do it. You just gotta believe. Yeah, if anyone wants to um wants to zoom me or Facebook me, I'm on Facebook 24/7, as your host Liam knows. So yeah, you guys can talk to me about anything. Yeah, mental mental health is not mental health is is not a way to go, guys. Because because I've been through it. It's not a good look. So do something proactive and keep your mind active. That's all I can say. Fantastic advice, John. I mean, it's really, really good, you know. Uh, because, of course, there's a lot of people going through things who, who obviously um, feel that they're alone in, you know, in that situation, when obviously they're not. I mean, there's, you know, people like yourself who've sort of come out the other side um, and things like that. And obviously, um, uh, one of the other things I was going to ask you was about the actual training itself, going back there. Um, what is your favourite part of training? I mean, what is there? Is there one bit you like best, or do you just like all of it? Or I mean, what you know? What's the situation with with that? Um, I like all of it, and tomorrow your followers will probably be seeing me live tomorrow because I'm training from eleven to about four o'clock in the afternoon. So yeah, I'm gonna be not, I'm gonna be punching and yeah, I'm gonna be dreading training, but I'm gonna love it at the end. So yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. And uh, yeah, and that's the other thing is obviously, you know, you, you touched on the mental health side of things there just now, John, when we were talking. Uh, and I know, obviously, um, that can be a tough thing to talk about. So, I mean, if you're not comfortable talking about it, that's fine. But obviously, I'd imagine being, you know, through everything you've been through in life, you, you've obviously had some low times and obviously you've had some high times and you've had, you know, you've had some pretty good ones. But for anyone who's sort of struggling with that type of thing, um, it was maybe in a low point right now. Again, the same type of thing. I mean, you know, what would you say? And, and how did, I mean, how did you get through it? Uh, that's one thing. That, I mean, that's what I'm actually asking is, is actually how did you, 
how did you get through the low points in your life and come out the other side to become a success uh, which, you know which is what what you are how did you how did you do that um you or you have to have your family support and you have to look at the things that the advice I can give is write your goals on and and your goals plans what you want to do in in life and stuff and yeah, your goals are most important things. If you don't want to do boxing, it's fine. If you want to get fit, it's okay. There are people there to help you, but always, they always have to remember that there are people that that can support you. They're, you're not alone in this time. Even though it's there's a pandemic going around, there are people there that will help you. Even though it's not your family or you trust a friend, you can talk to them and they can give you some advice. Because one of the advices that I found out that um, one of my mates told me is that if you if you want to achieve something, you have to work for it. So so I'm working through my problems and my issues and my boxing, even though I have, even though I'm at home and this pandem- pandemic is going, I, I'm doing something with my life, you know. I'm blogging about what I'm doing every day because I know it will help somebody. Fantastic. That's absolutely fantastic. And then another question, John, here that, that I want to ask you is obviously, um, you know, you obviously you've been doing the adaptive boxing for all these years, you know, since 2008, like you said. What is your, is there one memory for you that sort of stands out as like the best, the best moment? I mean, there might not just be one, there might be more than one. Um, but I mean, what are some of your, like your best moments, uh, like your happiest moments that you've had in, in adaptive boxing? Um, my happiest moment is winning, winning my first, um, my first, my first um, charity fight in New Zealand. My first time, my first, my first time in my career. So, my first fight, and so far, um, at this stage, I'm still undefeated for um, charity fights. So, yeah, I haven't lost a charity fight. So yeah, if anyone's watching on your on your on your live, please hit me up. I want to do some more charity fights. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. And you know, uh, you know, John, it's, it's something else with that to sort of touch on is, um, uh, it's obviously future plans now. Um, I mean, uh, actually, actually, before we get to that, I'm going to go back to, to something with the charity fights because you mentioned doing these charity fights. Um, what, what do you raise money for? Is it, is it for the uh, adaptive boxing itself or is it, is it for like another cause? Or I mean, what's the, um, what's the situation with, with that? Like for me, I do two. I I I fight for two causes: is the adaptive boxing and also spinal cord and research, and also the CP Society in New Zealand. And I do a lot of um charity fights for all sorts of um disabled organisations, and also like um St John's in New Zealand and fire service and police and so on and so on. So, yeah, brilliant. That's a fantastic, fantastic course. And I mean, what, what is for somebody who hasn't um, been to an adaptive boxing um, fight like that? What, what is the atmosphere like in there? I mean, what is you know what is the experience like? You know, going in, going into the fight, and um, you know, even on the lead up to it, like on that day. I mean, how do you feel? Um, I'm not really asking one question with this. I'm just, I'm just saying, what is the whole experience of, of a fight like? You know, if if that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, um, um. Uh, my preparation for a fight example is um, I have to, um, for me, I um, I eat a lot of junk food before I fight. So like, um, like the, say, say if I was training on, uh, fighting on a Sunday, I'll probably eat on a Saturday a lot of junk food. And then my fight, on my fight day, I wouldn't eat a lot. I would just drink water though. I'll drink water and water and water and, and, and a little bit of a snack and then go into my preparation, which is like, uh, listen to music. I like a lot of island music, a lot of um, R and B, um, all sorts, just to get my hair, my mind right, and yeah, and then just start preparing for my fight, which is like um, pad, also um, shadow boxing, and all sorts of different trainings before I get into my ring, into the ring. So, yeah, that's that's the preparation. Okay, and uh, the other thing is, which I just mentioned earlier, but it's obviously. Your future plans now. I mean, obviously, you know, you would just say now, you know, anyone who anyone who wants to fight you, anyone who wants to come to the gym, and sort of opening that up, which is which is brilliant. But I mean, you know, what are some of your some of your plans from here? Um, you know, going forward, what like what goals do you have, and what sort of things you're looking forward to with the adaptive boxing? Just uh, let's talk about the future a bit. I am um, um, for the future. I'm just gonna keep training until um. My my new boxing team is ready to meet to fight. As you know, 
Yeah, because I'm not gonna jump in it and say, "Oh, come and fight me now." I can't do that because I haven't I haven't trained with my new new team yet. So I start my training um on Wednesday. So I have to listen to what they say because I can't just ask a, uh, ask anyone out on social media and say, "Wanna fight me?" Without asking permission from my team first. So yeah. yeah. And the future holds for me is like um just gonna keep training, I guess. And, Train. If you don't train, you don't get any. Um, you don't get the reward at the end of the day. So I'm gonna keep training 24/7, three days a week. So, yeah, and also train at home. Yeah, That's fantastic. Yeah. Now, there's something else you 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 mentioned earlier that I thought was really cool. Uh, actually, was you know when you said about using the the, the wheelchair as a weight, um, which I think is is a fantastic idea. Uh, actually, are there other things in your home that that you've obviously adapted? Um, to train with, or I suppose what I'm asking is, is some of your home training. Um, what does that consist of? Like, what type of things do you do at home? Like, um, at home, I do push ups, I um, transfer them from my wheelchair onto the floor, and I do about 25 or 30 push ups. I do my um, I do my meals, my healthy meals. Um, I do a lot of writing, I do a lot of drawing, I do a lot of listening to music. I do a lot of wheeling up and down hills in my um outside my house. I do boxing bag. Yeah, I've got a schedule like a um I've got a schedule that um like the able body has. So yeah. Even though I'm in a wheelchair. Yeah. Brilliant. It's it's fantastic. Now another thing that I think um bears mentioning here that I think sort of, you know, we should talk about is it's obvious to me that you you know your wife is very supportive of you. Um, which uh, you know, and as long as you're okay to talk about that, um, I think I, I think it's it's a lovely part of the story because obviously she, you know she was there just now and uh, and she she's obviously very supportive of you. I, I I'd imagine or it seems, yeah. Yep, she's my she's my 24 hour um, cheerleader. So yeah, she's basically every, every she's basically with me every day. So yeah, wherever I go on a on a pub on a train on a bus on a taxi, she's always there. So yeah. Fantastic. That's, just, that's, that's lovely. Um, I just wanted to drop that in there because I can see, you know, how much she, she helps you out and, uh, and everything like that. And another thing talking about, um, you, you know, because we've talked a bit about support and, and, and diff getting different support and family support. And we've talked about different things. But in terms of, uh, you, you know, your trainers, your coaches, uh, other people in the gym, uh, in the adaptive boxing gym. Uh, I mean, what is what is the um, connection like between you, uh, between you all? I mean, what is the team like? And uh, what is it like training with your coach? And just um, let's just talk a little, you know, a little bit, a little bit about that. Okay. Um, my team environment's okay. Yeah. And on Wednesday, um, I'm doing a live from that gym on at eleven o'clock. I'm doing a live from there, so so everyone can see what I'm doing and meet my new trainer AJ. As you know, that she's your friend on Facebook, Liam. So yeah. yeah she is. Yeah. That's our fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she's a bit busy. She's a she's a busy woman, but um, yeah. If any of your listeners are listening, go to the supermarket and get her um magazine. It's out now, all over um the world now. So, yeah, if you want to know more about her, you can go read her magazine. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Good. Well, you know, John. I mean, you know, we we've talked about a lot there. I mean, you know, we we you know we've covered a good you know good overview of um of adaptive boxing, of what it is and, and your story and things like that. It's one or two things more to discuss, I think. Um, but I think, you know, it's sort of naturally wrapping up. But I'd like to ask you at this point, um, more people watching, if there's any, if there's anything you'd like to say, because uh, I know you've, you, you know, you've given some really good advice, you've called people out and things. Um, but is there anything in particular that sort of comes to mind that you'd really like to say to people watching this? Or, or are you all good? Have you already... Have you already said it? Um, hey, um, guys, um, even though it is a pandemic, there's a lot of people out there. And, yeah, just stay safe and be happy and do something proactive. And violence is not the answer. Do not ever hit any of your family members. It's not the answer. And just keep active and stuff. Yeah. Well, John, I mean, like I said before, I think that's, um, I think that's like a really good insight into into your life um and i mean personally you know i've asked anything i've asked um 
you know, pretty much what I want to ask. But like, if there's more stuff you want to talk about, that's cool. Uh, or if not, I mean, that's that's also cool. But I think it's I think it's given. Obviously, this will give people a really good insight into your life, and obviously, um, it, you know, it's a good length of of talk that we've had as well for for people to watch. Um, is there anything else you'd like to talk about um, with me specifically? Is there anything else that, or or are you happy with you know with what we've covered? Um, I'm happy. Brilliant. One thing I would say, John, just you know, just with us talking now, is that obviously, uh, in the UK. Obviously, I'm, I'm being a bit, I'm generalizing a bit here, but there's a yeah. lot more um, sort of isolation and things that go on, um, yeah. perhaps, than there is in New Zealand by the sound of it. So yeah. that's one of my big aims is to show people uh, what's possible, yeah. show people not to give up. And you know what I mean? And, and I really think, uh, I really think your story does that um, really, yeah. really well. So thank you very much for talking to me, John. I've, uh, I've really enjoyed talking to you, mate. Yeah. Same here. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Because people need to understand that in New Zealand that we just started and stuff. It's good to do it this way so people understand. Yeah. Um, in, in the UK, it, it, it's already started by here. I want to um, I wanna kind of like um, promote it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. That's, but yep. once again, I mean, thank you for your time. And uh, I, I, I really enjoyed talking to you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please subscribe to the Simply Inspired YouTube channel and there'll be more videos coming soon.